I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise is called Charleston Sprints because I'm going to push myself to make quick decisions during the Charleston, which is half the game. I like to practice with sprints because I play online. You got to make really quick decisions when you play online or the game will toss a tile for you. And every now and again, I play in a tournament and you are playing on a clock. You have to play a 12 minute game. So I like to push myself to make quick decisions so that when I am in a high stress situation, I'll be cool as a cucumber. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. My goal as an advanced player is to make decisions in under two minutes. If you are an intermediate player, give yourself three minutes. If you are a beginner, give yourself four minutes and then push yourself gradually to the lower thresholds. When you get to that two minute mark, you can play online comfortably and you could even play comfortably in a tournament. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. I'll roll these dice to determine which seat we're in with each sprint. I rolled a nine. That would be player three. So we're going to be non-dealer. I will get 13 tiles and create a mock Charleston with no jokers. Dragon East cracks pair fives two four six eight two pair nines. We have fives and nines for multiples, but we do have a lot of two four six eight. I think maybe we could leverage those multiples and play five seven nine. Five seven nine with multiples. Let's test the theory and pass these three. Five seven nine. We got a nine. Yeah, six nine. Three, six, two, three. Wow, look at that. Two, three. Let's focus on. Ooh. Let's focus on big odds. We got a five and a flower. We have tiles we can pass. No keepers. We did have get a pair of fours in there, but we've got lots of multiples here. There's a nine and a one. Let's pass these. If we get nines, we could play like numbers with nines. Okay, we have nines, a pung of fives, dragons. Five, nine, five, nine, nine. I think I might switch to like numbers with nines. We got a south one. Yeah, let's pass these. Pass or lap. We got a five back. Okay, I would play like numbers with nines probably. But we still have the potential for maybe something with five, seven, nine. We had no sevens. So five, seven, nine, not so good unless we get seven cracks, seven dots. We could play five, seven, nine with the dragon and use this as joker bait. I think I would probably keep the dragons for a while and discard those. And here, hold this maybe for joker bait, but probably focus on like numbers with nines. So in this particular sprint, Big odds didn't come in, but we could leverage nines and maybe use these as joker bait. So we have five discards. Five discards. My goal is to have four. So this is going to be an underdog hand right here. The next one will be player one, since I rolled a five. 
The jokers are ones. I will get 14 tiles and create a mock Charleston. Flowers, dragons, one, three, five, eight, single six, pair eights. So with these dragons, eight, eight, five, thirteen, addition, potential. Here's a thirteen addition. Maybe we should try for addition here. Let's pass these three. There's a flower. Here's a one, one suit addition. Let's pass these three. We don't need another one. We need fives and we need eights. Okay, there's a five in a different suit. No keepers. Flower. This is why you don't want to pass flowers. No keepers, but we have tiles we can pass for optional. I'd like to not pass two wins, but I want a five dot. I don't think there are any in here. So we have four discards. We have our flowers. We have the help of a joker and a multiple. All we really need in here are eights and fives. We've got the, the singles right there and the flowers for addition, eight, five, 13, four discards. That's not bad. I only like to play addition if I can, if I can come up with my flowers. And that's one of the hardest parts about that hand and, and, the, and the product of whatever formula for the hand, eight, five, 13. So we have the hardest part of the hand right here. Let's roll for the next one. I rolled an 11, eight, nine, 10, 11 is player three. Non-dealer, I will get 13 tiles. Okay, we have a south joker, flower, four, six, pairs, two, four, five, pair, five, seven, four, five, six, seven, consecutive run. You might think, well, why not play evens? We have no eights. I would focus on four, five, six, seven. We only have two tiles to get rid of though. Let's focus on four, five, six. Let's discard the seven. There's a six and a five, four, five, six, three, four, five with fives. Let's get rid of the six and the four. Here we have eight, three, two. If we can get three dots, there's another hand there under consecutive run that might work. Now here we have like numbers with twos, four, five, six. I think I would go ahead and give up the five. This is making me nervous. Okay, we'll break that up. 
four, five, six consecutive in dots. Ooh, wow, there's a two. Let's keep it. We could maybe play a pair hand. Let's pass these three. No keepers, but we have discards, optional. Four discards, really with joker bait. Four discards with joker bait, probably. If we get three dots, we might be able to use that. I would say probably four, five, six consecutive Kongs. Third hand down. If we get three dots, we might be able to play two through seven or two through eight pair hand. I would keep these just to see what happens. What we really need here are either fives or threes. This is going to take some work. There may have been a better way to go with these tiles, maybe. I wonder how many eights we had in here. I already smushed them in there. I don't think I saw any eights. A lot of twos. There's an eight right there. Two, four, six, eight. There might have been two, four, six, eight potential, but I think there was only one eight in there. We'll have to keep an eye on that during the editing. But two, four, six, eight might have been a better way. As a matter of fact, we could probably get rid of that and play two, four, six, eight. Two, four with flowers. The first hand under two, four, six, eight. We have five discards. I would keep this anyway just to see which comes in consecutive or two, four, six, eight. Either way. Okay, let's see how things went with time. That last sprint was hard. Although, 2, 4, 6, 8 and dots might have been a good plan because we had the 2, 4, which are pairs for that particular hand. All we needed would be dots in the 8s. So, and we had a joker. That might have been a good hand. And then also, if we got 5s, we could do 4, 5, 6. So, even though we had 5 discards, 4, 5, yeah, 4, maybe six if we got rid of those twos, but then those could have been used for joker bait. So even though it looked a little bleak, there was silver lining there. Let's see how things went with time. Okay, sprint one, one minute 54. Sprint two, one minute 38. Sprint three, two minutes and one second. But I got a little verbose on that one. So I think I made it under my goal. If you want to play online or play in a tournament and you have a set of tiles at home, practice with Charleston Sprints and let me know. If you train yourself to make quick decisions, always keep an eye on those discards so four or less is best. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't, subscribe to my channel. Consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Sprints for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.